Hello and welcome to mobile attendance. I'm going to start off in this screencast talking about how to add a class and how to add a student. So when you come to the landing page of the app you'll come to have your list of classes. Of course when you start the app you won't have any. So when you want to add a class just hit the tick button and you can add a class. So I'll put in a grade 7 PE and you can see it's come up here. If I want to edit my class I can come through to the edit button here and I can delete a class if I want to or I can use the uh, if I put my finger on the side I can actually change the order by moving them the way I want them. I can add as many classes as I like there's no limit so if you want to have your classes and then your after school activity or your community service or your camp group all of those can be listed here and when I am finished editing I return to done so let's go ahead inside one of these classes so I'm going to look inside grade 9 PE by clicking on the arrow here and when I enter when you first enter your class there'll be no information so I'll just take you back to a different class if I look inside my literature group I haven't got any students so you'll end up with this beginning here and I can add a student very easily by just hitting the add button you'll notice when I add a student the criteria becomes automatically listed and present is the default here I can keep adding my students but you'll notice that as soon as I add a new student the existing list moves down so if you have a an order you would like to work with alphabetical or other it's important that you enter the last name on your list first as the students will slowly move down I'll just take me back to a longer class here's my class here the app will read two names. The names can be, uh, sorry, the names need to be separated by a space. So as soon as you insert a space into your name, so between your first name and your family name, the app will recognize that you have entered two separate name categories. So for example, if you have a name that is hyphenated or a student's name that has parts to it, you'll need to either run them together as I have for Jisoo here, or you'll need to put in a hyphen between the two names before you include a space for the family name. If I want to edit my student list I can come up to the edit button which gives me the option to delete. I'm not, I don't have an option to change the order as I said before so be, you need to be careful how you enter them. And so now we've entered students, we can delete students and we're ready to move into how to take attendance.